We're going to start this short flow with uh, a warm up and we're going to start with cat stretch. So I just want you to check that the wrists are under the shoulders, the knees are under the hips. Think about a nice long line from the crown of the head to the tailbone. And when you're ready, just give me a nice big breath into the rib cage, inhaling, exhaling. And the next time you inhale, we're going to lift the head, tailbone lifts to a point that feels good for you. Reach forward with the breastbone and then as you exhale, let your head drop, tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin, scoop the belly, draw the navel to the spine, feel those abdominal muscles. Inhaling one way, don't crowd the neck, exhaling the other way. Give me a few more just like this. So we're just starting to loosen out the spine, start to warm up the back muscles, warm up the abdominal muscles and stretch all of those muscles out as well and try and get the fluidity of movement. So precision, fluidity of movement. Just check for any tense areas in the body, let them go. Now, if you're a little bit stiff, you might want to spend a, a little bit more time warming up. Otherwise, we're going to come back to a nice neutral spine. And as we exhale, we're going to take one arm, slide the arms close together, keep the hips still, come back to the center. And then exhale, slide through in the other direction. And just keep it going like that. We'll have about five sets. So this is really just to prepare your body for movement. I think we've got about five exercises all in quick succession. But of course you can take them as slowly as you wish. You may not want to do all the repetitions. So let's just take one more each side. Okay, this first exercise we're going to do is a double leg kick. So we lie face down. This is going to warm up the um, back and really work the back muscles, the glutes, the legs. It's going to give your upper body a really good stretch as well across the shoulders and into your arms. So remember that pelvic tilt, push the pubic bone down. Let's have the legs fairly close together. Pubic bone pressing down, navel drawing right back, core muscles engaged. Inhale to prepare and as we exhale, stretch your legs. That's your starting position. Inhale to prepare and as we exhale, stretch the arms back. Watch your shoulders and elbows. Inhale, coming down. As we exhale, we squeeze little kicks and stretch as we inhale. Exhaling, now keep pressing down through the pubic bone, keep your core muscles engaged. Smoothly down as we inhale, exhale, and stretch, reach for the wall there. So we're just going to take five sets, we've got three more to go. Watch the neck, when your head comes up, watch that you don't create tension into your neck. You want to check, especially when the upper body comes up, that you're not pushing the belly out. Exhaling, reach forward with the crown of the head, coming down, and then little kicks. Keep those legs inside the width of the hips. And smoothly down. And one more. So let's have just one last set. Coming down, and then a kick, kick, and release. Bring your hands by your ribs. Now for the side bend, which is our next exercise, you can come down onto your forearm. You can go through any of the variations you would have learned in the complete mat work series. Otherwise, I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to move my hand in a little bit closer, and I turn to the side and my arm is up. I need to inhale down, now you can turn the hips, keep your balance, exhale up. We need to inhale down, use your core muscles. So the sequence here is very important. Start with the pelvic floor, lower abdomen draws back, we breathe into the rib cage, and keep that shoulder well away from the ear. Both shoulders should be well away from the ear. We're just going to have two more for now. 
and stretch up. And then one last one, getting ready for hip circles. So working the side of the body there, external obliques. And then from there, sitting down. The arms don't do work here. They're just there to help keep you balanced. Let's start with the knees bent. Let's lift the breastbone. Inhale to prepare. And as we exhale, stretch your legs. If you can't keep the legs straight, do it with bent legs. Lift the breastbone, crown of the head reaching for the ceiling. Give me a circle one way. Really plant those hands. And then give me another circle the other way. Very much abdominal muscles and core. The longer the hamstrings are, of course, the straighter your legs will be. If you start to feel it in the lower back, you need to stop. Otherwise, we're going to do three in each direction. Let's have one more set. Keep the breastbone lifted. No pressure in the back. Pelvic floor, remember. Lower belly draws back. Core muscles engage throughout. And when you've done your last one, we release and we're ready to come up into our side bend on the other side. So bringing yourself up, stay on your forearm if you need to. Keep that lower knee down if you need to. We inhale and we come down. And we exhale and we reach and stretch. Shoulders away from the ears. Think about where the shoulder blades are. Also, don't just let your arm prop you up. Push away. Pushing down through the feet. And lift. A couple more will do. If you want to slow it down and just do three or pick up the pace and do a few more, then go ahead. One last one coming up. Okay, and we're coming down ready for the roll up. So, legs are stretched. Inhale and as we exhale, scoop the belly, reach forward for your toes. Inhale, sit yourself up. Exhale, let's roll down. Now, don't worry if you only go halfway. That's absolutely fine. Stretch the arms back behind you. Let's inhale, raise the arms. Let's exhale, chin to chest. Now, again, I'm going for five of these. And reach forward. So some of you may not be able to come back up again if you go all the way down. You just go halfway. But some of you actually might be finding that this is quite easy and we can make this harder by changing the position of the arms. So for example, you could fold your arms over your chest. If you find you can't get back up, then just stretch your arms out again and reach forward. So you know from the neck pull, if you take your hands back behind you, If you can't get back up, then go ahead, bring your arms in front and stretch. Keeping the arms up high as well makes a big difference here. And then lifting. Watch where your shoulders are. Try and relax the legs. Remember, start from the core and stretch. And this time you're going to stay down, so you can bend the knees. We're going to roll back, ready for scissors. So we come up, drop the hips back, wiggle yourselves up nice and high, no creases across the waist, stretch the legs. And then when you're ready, we can exhale, we can inhale, we can exhale, we can inhale. So the range here really depends on how balanced you are. Watch the neck, reach the crown of the head way back behind you. You don't want to be relying totally on your arms to prop you up. We want to look at the neutral line through the spine and then the legs just counterbalance each other. You'll feel a stretch through the back of the legs. Use the core muscles. One last set will do. And then we stretch both legs over. We bend the knees, we roll down, we find our neutral position and tabletop, so you know all the principles. Tray of marbles resting on the pubic bone and the hip bones. We come up with the upper body. You can inhale, exhale, inhale, 
exhale, inhale, exhale. Core strengthen. So no marble should be rolling here. You could inhale one set, exhale another. So of course, if you're speeding up the breath, you'll be doing more repetitions. If you slow it down, you'll be doing fewer repetitions. So about 10 complete breaths would be good. Drop the shoulders, stay right up onto the tip of the shoulder blades. Let's just have one more complete breath. And now let's release, exhale, draw those thighs to the chest. You can take your head to one side. You can take your head to the other side. And you can roll yourselves up. And that's it. That's the first flow.